Okay, I have a exciter kind of thing going on here using a um, 13.6829 megahertz crystal and a 9 volt battery and an LED coming in uh, from the thing to this and then it goes into this coil called an L3 coil and then the L3 coil goes over to an LED at the end of an AV plug that's taped to a block of aluminum and the tuning uh, takes place with this ferrite rod here and um, this is I'm calling this an exciter uh, it's similar to the Dr. Stifler um, ones that I'm familiar with that operate at the 13 megahertz range and then you tune the oscillator um, to get to a peak a, a resonant peak that causes the uh, system to um, cause this effect um, this is basically an L3 coil off of the Dr. Stifler SEC uh, uh, 18 or SEC 15 you'll have to look up the specs this is just a little ferrite rod there that uh, I have on the end of a stick. I'll turn the lights on and show it to you better in a minute. But this uh, block of aluminum is acting like the ground. And Dr. Stifler did a whole series on what's mass got to do with it. And the um, it's basically a virtual ground to, I think, complete the circuit. But uh, that's somewhat controversial. Now... I'm not driving this normally. I'm driving this at the bulb. And it comes off of this L3 coil. It goes up to an aluminum band around that bulb with the wire wrapped around the aluminum band. And then the AV plug is tagged down to the aluminum block. Now this is the circuit diagram. And you'll see that uh, I'm driving this kind of like Dr. Stifler did off the backwards way, but I am taking this AV plug down to this virtual ground, basically. This is me and the date right here, but uh, this is a little different that I haven't done before about driving the LED through the plastic. And uh, Tin Man mentioned about the gas inside, but there's no gas inside an LED. It's just a... Uh, uh, crystal junction and uh, anyway that's how that's being driven that's being driven through this aluminum band and then the AV plug tags down here at the bottom if I take the uh, aluminum band uh, disconnect this part the LED does not light up so it is not lit up that way and if I touch this nothing happens if I touch the bulb it goes out see that all goes out so I'm this is uh, an interesting curious effect like I say being driven by a crystal oscillator uh, I had done this back in 2013 so this is basically a replication of that uh, that experiment uh, and the other experiment I was actually driving a pulse motor uh, with this also but uh, anyway this is let me turn the light on here I'll show you what's going on this is the um, Actually, it was better with the light off, but I can show you this band better here. The, the uh, band goes around the bottom of the LED, and then the uh, two diodes, one one way, one the other way, um, go down to the mass, the aluminum mass. And then this crystal is a, uh, boy, you can't see that, can you? It is a 13... 0.6829 megahertz crystal oscillator and of course there's the the crystals in there plus the circuit too so this is actually the whole oscillator most of the circuitry for this whole thing is inside that can and then I have an LED here as, as an indicator and also drops down the uh, there's a voltage drop across it to uh, uh, also cut the current down a little bit this is running at uh, about 20 milliamps is what this runs at I did some some tests and you don't alter that with this part at all which is kind of a curious thing is that you're not you're not loading the uh, basic circuit 
here by putting this thing on there, which I thought was quite interesting. But anyway, let me turn the light off again here. A lot of people are going to say, well, you know, this and that and whatever. And all I uh, care about is the fact that it does work. And uh, you can uh, vary the resonant frequency of the circuit using this ferrite rod and Dr. Stifler's uh, SEC 15s were done this way not on the L3 coil I believe it was on the L2 coil that he did that his circuit had three coils in it um, might have been the L1 but anyway on this one I'm using the L3 coil and this is just like one of his L3 coils on a SEC 15 or SEC 18 and I'm varying the uh, resonant frequency by sliding this ferrite rod in and out here. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's just uh, it was a choke and I took the wire off the choke. It has to be ferrite. You can't use uh, steel or anything else. It has to be ferrite. But that's how that works and that goes into a resonant frequency. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helps folks. Uh, my oscilloscope is uh, not working right now, so I can't show scope shots. Thanks.